Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Insider preview build to the Beta Channel Insiders, build 22635.3495 with the update KB5037000. So I thought it's a quick video to keep you posted in case you would be interested as to possible new features that are now being tested in the Beta Channel that could roll out uh, in our annual Windows 11 24H2 feature update later this year. Now, there are four so-called new features that have rolled out in last week's beta channel insider preview build and some of these we have spoken about previously on the channel and the first one we actually spoke about last week where the windows 11 start menu could soon include more advertising space here in the recommended section and if we just head to the first image here we can see and as microsoft says they are now trying out recommendations some are calling these ads, Microsoft calls them recommendations, to help you discover apps from the Microsoft Store under recommended on the start menu, as we can see. They mentioned that this will appear only for Windows insiders in the beta channel in the United States. So just take note of that. And will not apply to commercial devices. And that's, as an example, devices managed by organizations. Now, if you are seeing this in the beta channel and you don't want to see it, uh, if you are in the U.S., how you can turn this off is just by heading to your settings, personalization, start menu. And as I've mentioned previously, you can just turn off this toggle. Um, show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps and more. Just turn that off. And I'll actually leave a video in the end screen of how you can actually turn off all the recommendations as, as I have um, for the recommended section on your start menu if you would be interested. Now, as a reminder, Microsoft says um, they regularly try out new experiences and concepts that may never get released with Windows Insiders um, to get feedback. So this may never see the light of day, so to speak. But nonetheless, it seems that more ads could be coming to the Windows 11 start menu. And the good thing is, though, it seems though we may have an option to be able to turn that off, which is always good news. Then moving on to the next, and this is to do with the desktop spotlight, and there's quite a lot going on here, where Microsoft say they are beginning to try out some adjustments for Windows Spotlight on the desktop to make it easier for Spotlight users to engage with this feature to change images, like, like or not like an image, and so on. Over and above that, these changes, they say, will make the Spotlight icon behave like other desktop icons, and there will also be several different treatments um, for these adjustments that insiders will notice. Now, uh, treatment number one, as we can see, Microsoft says with treatment one, number one, if a user right clicks on the Windows Spotlight icon, it will launch Spotlight Experience in full screen mode, as we can see here, to the left hand side, while double clicking here on the right hand side will open the landing page for the image on desktop. So those um, are the first two kind of adjustments with treatment number one. And then moving on to treatment number two. And for this, Microsoft says, with treatment number two, if a user right clicks on the Windows Spotlight icon, it will launch the Spotlight experience without any change to the desktop setup. So we can see this uh, here to the left-hand side. While double-clicking here to the right-hand side, launches the Spotlight experience in full-screen mode. So basically, they are trying out uh, two different treatments with four different options. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of those they actually um, decide to roll out, possibly with Windows 11 24H2, but I'll keep you posted on that. Then heading to the next, and this is interesting because Microsoft says they are introducing a new linked devices page under settings accounts that allows you to manage PCs and Xbox consoles that are signed into you have signed into with your Microsoft account. So I think this may be a nice move in the right direction. And this settings page will only show on the Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 uh, if you are signed into Windows with your Microsoft account. So basically, what we are looking at here is the new link devices page under account settings highlighted in this red box. So that means you can find, repair, and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account. So and that's another feature we could possibly see rolling out. And I actually think that's a nice move. And then the last one just to mention for today's video is regarding Copilot. Now, currently Copilot in Windows 11 is attached. You cannot move it away from the right-hand side, although you can uh, kind of show as overlay almost a full-screen um, Copilot. 
you cannot move it away from the right hand side now this may be all set to change because um, Microsoft says now and I have posted on this previously I think when this was still a hidden feature but they are beginning to roll out an updated copilot that adds the ability to switch between the existing dock behavior that attaches copilot to the side of your desktop and a new mode where it acts like a normal app window which you can resize and move around your screen so basically they are comparing this to notepad so you'll be able to move this around your screen like any other app on your desktop and i actually think that is a nice move and as part of this change they're also introducing some under the hood improvements as well so basically copilot um when it's not docked and obviously there will be a setting for that um you'll be able to move it around and almost use it like a kind of native app on windows which i actually think is a nice move because it seems that copilot easier to stay and then over and above those four new features guys we get some known issues because um, although the beta channel is closer to uh, your stable, it is still in preview. So there are a couple of known issues that Microsoft is still working on. Obviously, before um, we see our Windows 11 24 H2 feature update. But nonetheless, that's what's new in last week's um, latest Insider preview build for the beta channel Insiders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.